step one, the vicious cycle. So this is the part where we talk about how our eyes got worse and became more myopic, the horrible part of this process. But it's important to understand how this works because it's exactly the opposite of this is how your eyesight gets better. So um, as I mentioned in the previous video, we've got a small muscle in our eye called the ciliary muscle, which is a hoop-like muscle. You can see it in the diagram and bring up on the screen here. This is an eyeball um, that's practicing distance vision. So you can see that the ciliary muscle is in a relaxed state and the lens, the kind of whitey, creamy thing at the front of the eye is kind of thinned out and stretched uh, as it projects the image onto the retina at the back of the eye. Now let's look at an image of an eyeball that's looking at something close up. So you can see here that the ciliary muscle is contracted. And you can also see that the, the lens, again, the, the white creamy object is kind of thickened or in a kind of a bulging state. So if you imagine um, looking into the distance at a horizon or, you know, if you've been hiking and you're looking into the, into the distance at a mountain or whatever it is, and you've done that for a couple of hours, your eyes always feel nice and relaxed and, you know, you, you feel like you have a clear head and contrast that then with when you are looking, reading a book or you're studying really hard and you've been like looking at something really closely for and intently for a couple of hours, you have, it's, it's a completely different sensation in your head. So that biology kind of explains what's going on there. And then also remember what I mentioned in the previous video about if you're wearing your uh, glasses whilst doing that uh, up close work, then that ciliary muscle is going to have to contract even harder. So um, what is happening to, in order to see correctly, the ciliary muscle focuses the light onto the retina. If the light is focusing a little bit in front of the retina or a little bit behind the retina, retina the observer is going to see a blurry image. So as I just mentioned, uh, I'm going to bring up a, an image here of a normally functioning eye. You can see the rays of light in blue coming in through the front of the eye, through the lens, and then they're focused onto that focal plane at the back of the eye, which is the retina, and focused into a single point, which produces a clear image for the observer. Now, this second image here, this is a myopic or short-sighted eye, and you can see that as the light enters, it is focused just in front of the retina and then it kind of diverges and onto the retina, which produces a blurry image. So that is what you see as a myopic person, just a slightly blurry image, depending of course on your um, degree of myopicness. So now this next image shows what happens when, in order to correct our short-sightedness, we put a, a concave lens to me and you, that's a pair of glasses on. And now you can see that the light rays pass through the lens of the eye and focus into a sharp point on the retina producing a clear image for the observer. This is, it's great, it's absolutely fantastic. You can have a fix your eyesight very quickly. However, of course, it's not without its drawbacks as I have mentioned before. If we wear our glasses while it's doing close-up work, then it's gonna to lead to problems and lead to uh, greater myopia. So remember what I talked about of pseudo-permanent contraction of the ciliary muscle. So this is what happens when we're wearing our glasses and focusing on things that are not in the distance, things that are in mid distance or especially close up, that ciliary muscle has to contract very hard to focus the image on the retina. So this next diagram that I'm bringing up here, this shows what happens in the instant that when we're wearing our glasses and we look at something up close, the light will focus behind the retina. That's just at that instant that we look, but then what happens is our ciliary muscle contracts even harder to bring that light forward and pinpoint it onto the retina to give us a clear image. So to maintain a clear image, our ciliary muscle is working very hard to stay in a, a state of extreme contraction. However, if we're doing it, and this is what we call pseudo myopia 
and that is having a pseudo permanent contraction of your ciliary muscle. Now, this is easily enough reversible if we catch it right at the beginning, like when we when we started wearing glasses uh, originally. However, most people who were have bought this course, or people like myself, we will have continued to wear glasses. In my case, for about seventy percent of my life, um, and I've been many of those years wearing glasses to do close-up work, and then this is what happens next. I'll bring this image up, the diagram again, of the light being projected behind the retina. So as your ciliary muscle becomes really tired from a prolonged session of close-up work, the light, it gets weaker and it's not able to hold the image precisely on the retina. And the light will be focusing just a little bit behind the retina. So what happens here then is that the eyeball adapts its length in order to produce a clear image. So ever so slightly, the length of the eyeball will increase. And then again, the image will focus sharply on the retina. So if you think about this over time, what happens is that the eyeball gets longer and longer and longer. And then if we are trying to see things without our glasses, it's harder for our ciliary muscle and lens to focus the light onto the eyeball. So this is what happens. This is the vicious cycle. We start off with a pseudo permanent contraction of the ciliary muscle. Then the eyeball starts becoming longer and longer. And this vicious cycle produces a ever increasing myopia in the eyeball. To use the medical term, this is called hyperopic defocus. So now let's just have a little think about why we ended up getting stronger glasses. As I've just described, your ciliary muscle has had extreme contraction. Your eyeball has lengthened a bit after long sessions of close-up work while wearing your glasses. And now you look up into the distance to see something. And you notice that you can't focus it, the light on your retina. You can't see the image sharply. And you say, oh, my eyesight's getting worse. And, you know, for me, I used to wear my glasses a lot in school and when I was in, in university. And I would notice this because I was doing, you know, I was eight hours a day uh, doing close-up work while I was wearing my glasses. And I would notice frequently then I couldn't see in the distance images clearly that I could have done before. So off to the opticians, I would go and I would get my eyes tested. And sure enough, I would have a stronger prescription. And then when I got that stronger prescription, I put them on, everything was hunky-dory, everything was good in the world. I could see clearly again into the distance. But lo and behold, I would go back to doing my close-up work with my glasses on. The cycle repeats, ciliary muscle has to contract really hard again. Eyeball gets a little bit longer. And now when I look up from my close-up work, I can't see clearly into the distance because my contracted, Ciliary muscle can't open and get back to its relaxed state. And also, even if it could, my eyeball's a little bit longer now, so it can't focus the light onto the, onto the retina. However, as, as bad as this is for our eyes, it shows how adaptable they are. They're always adapting to the conditions or the stimulus that we put on them. So this is the, the shiny coin that we found on the beach, we can reverse our uh, myopia using the same principles. So we induce the stimulus onto the eyes to work in the opposite direction, to shorten the eyeball and to allow the ciliary muscle to open up and relax. And the same way as it was a sequential um, regression in our myopia, it'll also be a sequential progression in your improvement of your myopia.